Hey, it's Evan, and I'm missing Devin today, but we just finished an install on an excavator I'd like to show you. We did a uh, 325F, and we've got our Earthworks Auto on it, but we also added load right scales. So I think you will enjoy this as much as I have been so far. So join me on today's SciTech Northeast tip. So I've got Earthworks up and running, and I've got an excavator with automatics on it that I can run while I'm doing my pass. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to set load right because we've installed load right on this machine as one of my views. So you can see right here I've got a product which I can name whatever I want to, and I've got the total amount that's in my truck as well as what's in my bucket. I'm going to set this thing to auto add. So every bucket that's over a certain amount is going to automatically add into my truck so I don't have to touch any buttons. So I'll just do a pass here with auto. Once I've filled that bucket up, I just do a lift, just like I was going into a truck. And I've got two, just over two tons in that bucket. And you can see it automatically added right into my truck. I can add a whole bunch of different trucks, give them names, and each one of them can have a certain target weight so I don't overload them. Just like that. So I've got my autos running, cutting to grade, and I'm loading a truck and I know exactly how much material is in that truck. Now the, uh, the nice thing is, is I can get a, a printer Put it right in the cab of the machine so I can print that out for my trucker or I can send all that and or I should say I can send all that right up to the cloud so pretty nice setup just having earthworks with the load right scale built right in so I'm a very productive machine today thanks for watching Never, I'm glad we're able to social distance our way through this today yeah, thanks for all the help, Evan. Really appreciate it. You got it. Let's go home. Make sure we're good and sanitized. SciTech Northeast.